Hi, this is Jordan Ramirez, and normally I host my podcast show, Film Talk with Jordan Ramirez. Now I am hosting a special show for my podcast, Film Talk with Jordan Ramirez, Minisode Jordan Ramirez Recommends. The minisodes are now airing every Monday at 12 p.m. as part of the Film Talk with Jordan Ramirez podcast. So without further ado, you are listening to Film Talk with Jordan Ramirez, Minisode. For my third episode, as part of the French New Wave Month, I am going to recommend the film Lola, released in 1961, directed by Jacques Demy, starring Anouk Aimé and Marc Michel. Marc Michel plays the role of Roland Cassard, a man who was bored with everyday life and just recently got fired from his job. Anouk Aimé is Cécile, who is a dancer at a cabaret club who now goes by the stage name of Lola. When Roland and Cécile run into each other, it becomes an accidental coincidence that would later become a theme in this film. As they try to make up for lost time, Roland, who is bored, decides that he wants to leave the town of Nantes to free himself from boredom. Cécile, on the other hand, does want to leave the town of Nantes as she is waiting for her long-lost lover. It is a tale of two long-lost friends who thought that they could be together again, only to discover that they have different career paths and fates. This film would mark the directorial debut of Jacques Demy, another influential director of the French New Wave movement. He was married at the time to Agnes Varda, another influential director of this period. When it comes to the themes covered in the film, they are dreams versus reality, a prominent feature in Demy's feature film work, coincidences, love, and happiness. This film is meant to pay tribute to the aesthetics of film director Max Ophuls, as some of the moments in the film not only evoke Ophuls' 1955 film Lola Monte, but also 1950's La Ronde for its circular narrative structure. The film was shot in black and white in a widescreen aspect ratio that was photographed by the great cinematographer Raoul Cotard, who I have mentioned in my previous episode about Contempt from 1963. The film was shot entirely on location in the town of Nantes, Jacques Demy's hometown. For the main star of the film, Anouk Aimé, she had previously appeared in Federico Fellini's La Dolce Vita from 1960. Demy was insistent on casting her for the role of the cabaret singer, despite the fact that she did not have the sex appeal for the producers of the film. But it gave the film a much-needed boost for its aesthetic reasons that made the film well-known. Marc Michel, on the other hand, previously appeared in Jacques Becker's film La Trot, also known as The Hole, and would later reprise his role of Roland Cassard in Demi's 1964 film The Umbrellas of Cherbourg. He was well-known at this period for playing anti-hero roles that was prevalent during the French New Wave movement. The other actors who appear in this film are Jacques Hardin, who played the role of Lola's long-lost lover Michel, The American sailor Frankie is played by Alan Scott, who loved Lola but had to return to the United States. Elena Le Baudet as Madame Desnoyers and Cécile, the rebellious daughter, is played by Annie Dupereau. Demi, in turn, would go on to create his own cinematic world that he can only create that would later occur in his other body of work. It would be considered to be called his cinematic universe in which characters from his other films would overlap with one another for the purposes of continuity. As Jeanette Vincendo described in her essay about the film and its cinematic universe, it is a filmic universe in which melancholy, tragedy, and a hint of hostile social relations are balanced by a fairy tale atmosphere of poetry, music, and cinephilia. I hope you enjoy my recommendation of this film from the French New Wave movement. This has been a Film Talk with Jordan Ramirez minisode. Tune into the minisodes every Monday at 12 p.m. and Film Talk with Jordan Ramirez every Friday at 4 p.m. on Anchor, Spotify, and Google Podcasts. And until then, I'll see you at the movies.